This is the garlic we grew this year. It's uh, almost pitiful how tiny it is, but it tastes really good. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to take apart and peel. Focus on the the wood burner. Yep. Um, if I could have fifteen minutes, I can finish those uh, components with a new cutting jig, okay. and then go over to the wood burner. I'll try to get the seedlings in today. They really need to go out. Mm -hmm. um, if baby lets me, I'll do it with him in the garden. But if he starts ripping out things. Um, I need like an hour or two in the afternoon. Okay, I'll just try to do it with him really. If today I'll take him and then um, tomorrow in the afternoon, like I mean, we should be done with the oven today, right? Yeah, and then tomorrow in the afternoon um, I get some work done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have so much going on right now. We got uh preparing for the chestnut harvest, which is happening soon. There's a lot of trees around here that have don't seem to have been harvested in years and years, so it's just completely overgrown with bramble and fern and bushes. So it's kind of a big job clearing the space underneath these trees, just so we can go get the chestnuts when they fall. Okay, today we're taking you along um, our day-to-day -day life. As you already have seen, I get up a bit later. That's because I work Monday to Friday in the evenings until about 10 p.m. and I just need a bit more sleep, especially with the baby that wakes up a few times in the night. It's just a bit easier um, if I get to sleep a few more hours. Of a, my mood is a lot better and uh, my mental health needs it as well. But yeah, Zach gets up a lot earlier than I do because he also goes to bed earlier Monday to Friday. Um, he goes to bed with a baby and just um, have some downtime before he goes to sleep himself. Yeah. So every morning we meet at the breakfast table and talk about what the plans for the day are, what needs to get done, and we try to prioritize what is important and in what order it is done. We try to aim for a 50-50 division between both of us parents <laughs> um, when it comes to the child care so no one gets burnt out. Living here in Portugal on a really low budget has allowed us to um, divide our labor there. A child is a 24-hour job and um, we both need our breaks from the baby and uh, today is my day and then I get like another day where I have him less. Today is a big day we're starting on um, putting the wood stove into our shack um, that we need for the winter and then I will also pull out put out some seedlings as I said at the breakfast table.
actually quite proud of myself because I managed to wash my hair and uh, look after the baby at the same time, which is not easy. But yeah, we have to wait kind of like, like I wait right now because it's really, really cold in the mornings. Um, I wait for it to kind of heat up a bit. So hair washing is only possible in the afternoon. It's still a bit cold, to be honest. <laughs> but we manage. It's a very simple tub and bottle system right now. We hope that we maybe have a proper shower next year. Who knows? We'll see. But yeah, now we'll check what Zach is doing. We have some fava beans and some peas. I like to soak them for a few hours before putting them into the ground and um, just to give them a bit of a head start. And then I'll put them out tomorrow probably and then we'll see how they grow. We had mixed results with beans this year. So I'm quite curious to see what comes out of these. Okay, another thing I'm planting out today, cat. Another thing I'm planting out today is um, some more onion seeds i just do them like every once in a while just sow like a bit of onion and um, then i transfer them into the garden i really like doing that in milk cartons and i'm just reusing them a bunch of times cat you really need to leave i'm sorry um i've been using this like four times now and it's still in good condition but i think this might be the last so yeah i'm gonna plant just put in some rows and then fill them with onion seeds and when they grow up a bit more I'll uh, transfer them to some planting trays. We had to move because Cat is just uh, way too interested in this. Um, Tetra pack and also in my ice cream sticks that I use as labels. So I think that label is gone. Yeah, it's destroyed. He just left me a destroyed label. Perfect. Yeah, I just really like to sprinkle them along these lines. Rather do a bit more than less. And then I pat everything down. This is really well soaked um, planting soil. So hopefully they will come up really well as well. And then I'll just put it in the sun for a few days and then they should come up really soon. Planting out the seedlings was partially successful. The problem is they have a baby that is kind of ripping out everything <laughs> that I put in. So it takes double the time. 
but Zach is making great progress with the house. I'm doing work tonight and maybe I'll just take some time off there to uh, plant up the rest of the cabbage seedlings that need to go into the garden and I need to run after my child. <laughs> That'll cover it up for tonight. Come back to it tomorrow and cut the hole there.